Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Series exam Mechanical Engineering questions. This is lecture number 36. The topic is Fluid Kinematics. The first question from 2020 question paper. A curve that is everywhere tangent to the instantaneous local velocity vector is, we have answers. Options steep line, path line, normal line, and stream line. The correct answer is stream line. So when there is tan, when everywhere the tangent indicates the local velocity, it is a stream line. Next question from 2020 question paper. Which of the following characteristics regarding fluid kinematics is correct? One stream line represents an imaginary curve in the flow field so that the tangent to the curve at any point represents the direction of the instantaneous velocity, ve velocity at that point. Path line, stream line and stick lines are identical in the steady flow condition. So both the statements are true. So both statement 1 and 2 they are true. That is the correct answer. Next question from 2019 question paper. A flow, flow field satisfying del V vector equal to 0 as the continuity equation represents always there are four options here again. The correct option is steady sorry, incompressible flow. So the del, del V vector equal to 0 that indicates the incompressible flow. The next question from 2014 question paper. A two-dimensional flow field defined as V vector equal to I vector X minus J vector Y. The equation of streamline passing through the point 1 comma 1 is we have four options here. So among the four options, the correct answer is x, x y minus 1. So the steam line passing through the point, it is x y minus 1. So we will see how in the next slide. So the velocity vector v equal to i x minus j y. So the, the steam line equation for two dimensional flow d x by u equal to d y by v. So integrating this equation, integral d x by u equal to integral dy by v. So, from the velocity vector equation, u equal to x, v equal to y, minus y. So, it is minus dy by y, dx by x, integrating logarithmic x equal to minus logarithmic y plus c. So, rearranging logarithmic x y equal to c or taking the anti-logarithm x y equal to k, it is again a constant. So, at x equal to 1, y equal to 1, substituting x equal to 1, y equal to 1, k equal to 1, then x y equal to 1, so x y minus 1 equal to 0. So the equation is x y minus 1 equal to 0. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2017 question paper. A two-dimensional flow field is defined as v vector equal to i vector x minus j vector y. The equation of, equation of the steam line passing through the point 1 comma 2 is, we have the same question but the xy values are changed. x value is 1 and y value is 2. The correct answer among the four options is xy minus 2 equal to 0. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, again the given v vector, velocity vector equal to i vector x minus j vector y. The steam line equation for two dimensional flow dx by u equal to dy by v. From the equation u equal to x, v equal to minus y, substituting and integrating. So, integral dx by u equal to dy by v, integrating, substituting for u dx by x minus y into integral dy by y. So, the left hand side logarithmic x, right hand side minus logarithmic y plus c, rearranging logarithmic xy equal to c, taking the anti logarithm xy equal to k. Now, substituting x equal to 1, y equal to 2, k equal to 2, then xy equal to 2 or xy minus 2 equal to 0. So, the steam line equation is x y minus 2 equal to 0. The next question from 2015 question paper, state whether the following flow field is physically possible. So, u equal to 3 x y square plus 2 x plus y square and v equal to v vector v velocity, velocity v equal to x square minus 2 y minus y cube. So, the velocity vector indicate possible for steady incompressible flow, possible for unsteady incompressible flow possible for steady compressible flow, which is not possible. So, the correct answer is it is a possible 
for steady incompressible flow. So, velocity vector, velocity value is given here, u vector, v vector, v velocity, u velocity given here, it is possible for incompressible, steady incompressible flow. So, we will see how in the next slide. The velocity component indicates that the flow is steady flow as the velocity does not change with respect to time. So, here there is no u and v, there is no time parameter. So, it is steady flow. For incompressible flow, continuity equation is to be satisfied. So, the continuity equation for two dimensional flow dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y equal to 0. Differentiating dou u by dou x equal to 3 y square plus 2 and dou v by dou y equal to minus 2 minus 3 y square. So, from this equation, dou u by dou x and dou v by dou y. So, substituting dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y equal to 3 y square plus 2 minus 2 minus 3 y square. So, it is 0. So, the continuity equation is satisfied. So, the equation represents possible steady incompressible flow. So, this is continuity equation represents the incompressible flow and it is steady flow. So, it is steady incompressible flow. The next question from 2000. 15 question paper, a steady incompressible flow field is given by u equal to 2x square plus y square, v equal to minus 4xy. The convective acceleration along the x direction at point 1 comma 2 is, we have 4 options here. So, look at the 4 options, among the 4 options, the correct answer is, we calculate the correct answer, the convective acceleration in the x direction for 2 dimensional flow, ax equal to u into dou u by dou x plus v into dou u by dou y and a x equal to 2 x square y into, so u equal to 2 x square y, x square plus y square into dou u by dou x, so dou u by dou x equal to 4 x plus v minus 4 x y multiplied by dou u by dou y, so dou u by dou y equal to dou u by dou y equal to 2y. So, substituting x equal to 1, y equal to 2. So, 2 into 1 square 1 plus 4, 2 square 4 into 4 into 1 minus 8, 4 into 2, x, uh, 4 into 1 into 2 equal to 8 into 1 into 4. So, 2 into 2 equal to 4. So, finally, 24 minus 32 equal to minus 8. So, the correct answer is minus 8 units. Next question from 2015 question paper, consider the following remark pertaining to the irrotational flow. The Laplace equation of the steam function dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square equal to 0 must be satisfied for the flow to be potential. The Laplace equation for the velocity potential dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square equal to 0 must be satisfied to fulfill the criterion for the mass conservation that is continuity equation. Which of the above statements is or correct? So, the correct answer is both the statement 1 and 2 they are correct. So, we will see how in the next slide. If the steam function satisfies the Laplace equation, then it is a possible case of steady incompressible irrotational flow. If the velocity potential function phi satisfies the Laplace equation, then it represents the possible steady incompressible irrotational flow. So, irrotational flow is known as potential flow. So, the both the statement they are true. The next question from 2015 question paper, in a two dimensional incompressible flow field, the steam function at a point p 2 comma 1 is given by an equation psi equal to 2 x y. The velocity of the value of velocity potential at p is 3, the answer is 3. So, we will see how in the next slide. The steam function psi equal to 2 x y. So, dou phi by dou x equal to dou psi by dou y is equal to 2x. Dou phi by dou y equal to minus dou psi by dou x equal to minus 2y. The velocity potential function d phi equal to dou phi by dou x dx plus dou phi by dou y dy. So, substituting 2x dx minus 2y dy, integrating this is x square minus y square, phi equal to x square minus y square. Substituting for the point x equal to 2 and y equal to 1. So, phi equal to 2 square minus 1 square equal to 3. So, 3 is the correct answer. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. You can refer to this book Fluid Mechanics and Machinery for theoretical concept of the fluid kinematics and I upload the 
video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the videos for your better, better learning. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. So, we will meet again with another video lecture in the UPSC engineer, UPSC engineering service exam questions in the fluid kinematics. Until then, bye.